Yo, what's up guys, Sitchi Kongolan here and welcome to this new episode. In today's video, I'm going to be playing with Muhammad Light, his new Minor Poison deck. As soon as I was thinking that Minor Poison was gone in the current meta, Muhammad Light comes up with a new Minor Poison deck. Very interesting version with the Ice Golem, as you guys can see here, 2.9 average chase cost with the Evil Bomber, with the Evil Tesla. So we're going to be playing it on this Grand Challenge, where I'm currently 6-1. I am going to be playing with the Dagger Dashes. I believe Muhammad is also playing with the Dagger Dashes, and I think everyone really is using it on top ladder. So let's see what happens with this Minor Poison deck. I'm not the best Minor Poison player, but it's definitely a deck I like playing and very fun for sure. Okay, so let's see what this guy's gonna be running. Looks like he starts off with a Bomber. Let's go with our own Bomber in the same lane. Ghost in the meantime on the left side. And then I'm gonna go with Tesla here to catch his drill. Okay, perfect. We catch it. So that's awesome. And then I'm assuming it's just gonna be like a maybe drill cycle deck. Yeah, I think it's just gonna be a, a drill cycle deck here to be honest. Okay, let's go miner towards the left side the dagger dashes was running out of ammo so that's why i went with miner just like that and then with very nice look because we also catch those wall breakers okay i would like to try and activate the king tower but i'm not sure if we can because the dagger dashes is gonna take care of the magic archer very fast let's see if we activate no unfortunately we did not activate i think if he wouldn't um or if we would have for example the princess tower that would have activated but of course in this case the, the dagger dashes just has such a high dps against any unit really Okay, let's go bomber here on defense then afterwards i think i'm gonna go with the last second ice golem to try and okay again we don't pull off the activation we do need to watch out with a potential magic archer but it looks like he's not gonna uh yeah gonna magic archer and then here we just can uh poison the right side tower okay let's go look here on defense as well look is gonna clean up both of those wall breakers dagger dash is out of ammo but of course she does recharge on time to be able to deal with it and then the right side tower actually took a lot of damage with the evil bomber plus the poison hitting it so kind of a nice situation i think in this matchup i think we should be fine we have good answers against the drill and then slowly but surely we can chip him um yeah away with the miner sometimes with the evil bomber evil bomber yeah it's just so broken i think some comments in one of my last videos said like evil bomber used to not be played at all and now it's everywhere i think people just realized how broken it is and everyone is just yeah kind of abusing it uh, and playing it okay let's go ghost here on defense then i'm gonna go with the ice column here to tank i'm assuming that's mainly why he uses the ice column like ice column at the bridge tank for the dagger dashes shots and then the, um, the miner afterwards should be able to get a good amount of chip damage as well okay i'm gonna prepare the bomber for a knight looks like he does not go with the knight and then we can just go with a ghost here again to the left side so i think he doesn't have a big spell i think he's uh, only running lock plus nato here we should be able to get a nice bomber because he just used his um okay let's go tesla here on defense he does go with the bomber he does also go with the lock so well played by him and here we can just go with our own ice golem okay we do need to watch out on defense guys let's go with a miner here let's then go with a poison on top of the magic archer plus the tower and then he is getting quite a bit of chip damage so we need to be careful with that but at the same time we also got a good amount of damage thanks to the poison and thanks to the um, okay nice let's go with bomber let's go with ghost here as well and then I'm going to go with the last second lock to try and clean up everything. Not sure if it's going to be enough to be honest. Okay, looks like we are able to kill those wall breakers. Magic Archer is getting a few shots on top of the tower. And then here we can keep it the pressure by going Ice Golem. Plus Miner straight to the tower. Okay, perfect. Okay, the Miner's getting a good amount of chip damage. Dagger Dash is out of ammo, so that's awesome for us. And then here I'm just going to cycle another little Prince. Okay, his Bomber should not be able to connect. And then here with the lock, I think we should be able to um, yeah, negate most of the damage. Please tell me that the Bomber... Yeah, I was about to say that. Please tell me that the Bomber does not shoot the tower somehow. Because in those type of situations, if it ends up connecting, it just deals so much damage. Okay, nice. He gives us another pretty good poison. Let's go with poison for sure. Also hit the Bomb Tower. Mine in the meantime, getting a decent amount of chip damage. And then here a Bomber plus lock to clean up those Wall Breakers. Well, also, again, going with the Ice Column offensively. Plus a Miner towards the tower. I feel like Ice Column is mainly, as I said... Um, just to distract the dagger dashes kind of force out the ammo um, and in this case the miner is getting the, the, uh, the damage done okay perfect so slowly but surely chipping away of course minor poison and that's all what it's about like most of the times you just want to slowly but surely chip away with the miners with the poisons um, and of course if he gives you any other value with like an evil bomber or something like that you also should always take it okay looks like he goes with his drill on the back side of the tower let's go with ghost here to clean up those goblins then i think i'm gonna go let's go with a bomber here i'm not sure if he's expected but at the same time the bomber here should be able to at least connect once maybe even twice in this case it is gonna connect quite a bit he also does a nice combo but i think we do end up winning yeah i think we got the game oh my god that was kind of scary at some point um or at, at that point he just went i think like magic archer plus bomber that's actually a crazy combo 
with the nato offensively so he did get a lot of damage out of it but at that point it was a little bit too late we already dealt a lot of damage to his right tower with the miner and with the evil bomber evil bomber is just so broken especially with nato in this case but even without nato of course we are running it without nato it also works very well you just have to be a little bit more careful i feel like with nato it's easier to get the damage with bomber you need to think a little bit more but it's still really easy to play so we're 71 right now see you guys with game number two as soon as we find it okay let's go guys look what we found game number two so let's open to uh, yeah the match right away let's give him good luck and let's see what this guy's gonna be playing i don't think it's really worth it to mine like straight off the um, yeah whenever you start the match guys of course in the past when there was no dagger dashes meta i think it was always an amazing play but then now honestly i don't think it's a good play because of the dagger dashes uh yeah just dealing so much damage to the miner so i think nine of the ten times you don't really want to start off with it okay looks like he goes with fireball we can go with the ice golem here and then afterwards i'm gonna go with a miner as soon as the ice golem at least thanks for a little bit of damage like in this case the dagger dash is still gonna do a decent job against the miner but at least we got um yeah three hits there which of course is way better than um just setting the miner alone okay let's go look here let's then go with a bomber and i think i'm also gonna go with ice golem and even with a ghost i think not sure if it's necessary um but just to make sure because whenever the dagger dash just runs out of ammo she's just really not good against um yeah any unit really okay let's go with a miner here to tank for all the hits then the ghost plus the bomber will be able to take care of the little prince and also should be able to deal quite a bit of damage to this ghost i'm even gonna look because then maybe our ghost yeah nice okay so uh, thanks to the look oh wait what it didn't hit i thought it would hit um but anyways i guess it's fine because if not his ghost would have gone invisible and then would have hit our tower um yeah at least once so i guess even though we didn't get one shot out of the ghost which i think we or which i thought we would have um, been able to get um it's still a nice and decent look okay let's go bomber here i think i don't know if he's expecting it might be predictable but at the same time if he doesn't it's just so much damage and here as you guys can see it's gonna be able to bounce um yeah on the tower and it's just so much damage like that's so broken okay let's go with the ice column here afterwards to try and activate the king tower i'm gonna wait a little bit go with local defense and then i'm also gonna go with a ghost to try and clean up everything plus a bomber here as well so okay this is kind of scary but i think we should not take too much damage bandit is gonna um, yeah dash onto the tower is gonna get quite a bit of chip damage so probably could have defended that a little bit better but still a decent situation especially now with the king tower activation i think afterwards in double and triple elixir we should be able to defend it easy and um yeah easier okay i would like to try and switch lanes here actually i'm gonna go ice column right side i'm also gonna go with a minor plus a poison and afterwards we can prepare the bomber as well okay perfect let's go with bomber here towards the left side and then we can set up the tesla on defense okay he does go with his bandit let's go with a lock to damage the bandit and then maybe yeah we can kill her so perfect and afterwards we just need to be careful with the pekka so usually you don't really want to go same lane i guess in this situation oh nice bomb by him is that gonna kill the yeah that's gonna kill the tesla actually we need to go with another tesla here on defense plus a lock on defense as well just to make sure that we don't take too much damage but the bomber is able to get a shot on top of the tower and that's a lot of damage so at this point i feel like we just yeah, have to stick to the left side lane even though it's nicer to go opposite lane especially here with the ghost hit um that will be yeah the best option i feel like we need to be careful though because if he does go with peck and everything in the same lane sometimes it's not really worth it to go with that okay let's go with ghost let's then go with the ice column here on defense let's go with a lock as well and then i think i'm just gonna yeah wait a little bit see what he drops if not i can go okay looks like he does go with a bandit let's go with a bomber up high our cycle's kind of awkward and then i'm just gonna go with a miner here nice even though we yeah had to kind of waste the bomber oh we do need to watch out here let's go ice column afterwards as well little prince luckily for us is tanking let's go with a look on defense the barbarians are getting on top of the tower but i think we can still get the w here let's go with bomber let's go with another ghost at this point i'm just gonna spam a lot of units he might go with pekka oh looks like he doesn't pekka i think that's a big mistake from him how is he gonna deal with all the troops we have on the field right now he does go with bandit we can go with a bomber here to try and kill the bandit plus the bomber and then we can go with a poison as well okay this match is actually super close guys i think here with the poison we're gonna be in the damage lead we do need to be careful because he does have a big spell in this case he's running it with the um, what's it called with the fireball okay let's go tesla on defense and then go with ghost here to counter his bomber and then i think i'm gonna go lock on top of this bandit and i would like to go with an ice column to kite he wants to fireball cycle okay that's a big mistake my friend you can definitely not fireball cycle in this type of situation the minor plus poison is just gonna get yeah way much more damage than your fireball so let's go with uh fireball he does have the evil sap so evil sap is gonna be able to deal quite a bit of damage but it's not gonna be enough as you guys can see bomber splashes his bomber takes down a left side tower and if even if it wouldn't i think the minor plus the poison would have been able to take care of his tower before he can spell cycle nice try by him he definitely played that really well i think that matchup even though we don't have like a really good pekka counter 
Like this deck, for example, doesn't run goblins, doesn't run guards. I think we still have a um, yeah, pretty good matchup. And Ice Golem is also really nice to kite. I feel like we should have used the Ice Golem a little bit more on defense, maybe, to kite, for example, away, I don't know, Pekka, Bandit, or those type of units. Okay, so let's go with Loki here towards the left side. Looks like he has Night Witch plus Bomber. Could be a potential Golem deck. Could be, could be a lot of stuff, to be honest. I guess we'll find out soon whenever he uses the next card. Could also be a Giant Graveyard deck. Um, I guess we will go with Ice Golem here to tank for the Bomber, maybe for something, yeah, like a spell, like any troop. And here in the meantime, I'm also going to prepare the Little Prince. Okay, Night Witch. I'm assuming it's maybe going to be Golem, but I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. Okay, I'm going to go Ability here towards the right side to take care of the um, Skeleton King, to be able to tank for the Phoenix, and afterwards we can maybe use it to yeah, get some chip damage on the right side tower as well. Okay, I'm going to go Miner, and it is indeed going to be Giant. Okay, is this just going to be like a Giant spam deck i've seen a lot of people run like those type of um yeah giant spam decks nowadays i don't know why but it's really popular um where they don't have graveyard they don't have miner it's just like pure yeah giant spam okay i'm gonna go ghost here up high just to make sure we don't give him any yeah opportunities to go with a bomber and then afterwards we can prepare the lock as well okay let's go with a lock here to clean up both the night witch and the bomber and that's a really nice and um yeah easy defense so i think it is indeed gonna be just a giant spam deck I don't think he actually has like something uh, yes to support it as i said like a graveyard like a miner so i guess it's a little bit easier to defend than where they for example have like giant graveyard but we still need to be careful because the dagger dashes isn't amazing against tanks and it's also why those type of decks are even yeah in the meta right now okay let's go with bomber here up high bomber is able to get a lot of um damage we can go with tesla here as well and then we can go with the ice column to tank for both the phoenix and the skeleton king while the little prince tesla and the dagger dashes is getting a lot of um yeah, value and a good job done okay perfect do we even need to drop anything i don't think even if it revives in this case it doesn't even revive i think we would have been fine okay let's go with ability and then as soon as the ability tanks i'm gonna go with the miner straight to the tower to try and get some chip damage going he doesn't yeah have the best cycle right now for the miner i think we can just poison this one to be honest okay so as you guys can see he didn't touch our tower yet so far pretty nice and um yeah good defenses do need to be careful of course but i think yeah as long as we keep up this um defense will also slowly but surely chipping him away we should be fine to be honest okay let's go with ghost here let's then go with a miner um i think in a bit let's wait a little bit let's then go with miner now and then i'm just gonna set up a tesla i think here defensively okay perfect i don't think i'm gonna go poison to be honest i think i'm just gonna let the little prince um, yeah do its job now i'm gonna go with ability and then afterwards we can wait a little bit and see what he does okay let's cycle lock let's then go with a ghost here as well i'm gonna wait a little bit then i'm gonna go with ice golem up high plus i think another little prince let's wait a little bit though okay let's go with miner first he goes with another giant we can maybe go with bomber even though it's kind of aggressive i think it's still a um, yeah, decent play to maybe force out something else up high like i don't know yeah his bomber or anything really okay perfect so okay nice good poison value we can just go with poison we can just go with look i think right side doesn't even need to uh yeah be defended just in case i'm gonna go with the ice column there to distract the um, yeah, phoenix a little bit longer so the tesla can take care of it okay we need to watch out guys let's go with the tesla up high i do know that he has evil bomber right now so yeah i wanted to say we need to be really careful with that because the bomber if it connects it just deals so much damage wait what it is actually on the tower oh my god please tell me that it's not gonna oh that was so scary guys giant is still connecting for a lot of damage Plus the fireball, that's going to be a lot of damage dealt by him. But I think we should be fine here. Okay, let's go with Evo Tesla. Just in case, he is actually in the yeah, damage lead right now with that push. Oh my god, that's so scary. Okay, let's go. Uh, Royal goes to the right side. Let's then go with the Ice Column. As soon as the Ice Column tanks, I'm again going to go with a Miner towards the tower. Let's go with a Lock here as well. Plus the Bomber. And I think this should be quite annoying for him to defend. Probably going to force out the Skeleton King or something. But look at the Ghost. Oh my god, Ghost is on the tower. It's getting so much damage. 700 HP left on his right tower. And then at this point, we just need to yeah, be careful on the defense. Okay, let's go Poison here. Let's then go with a Ghost towards the right side. Let's also go with the Ice Column. And then I'm going to even set up another Tesla. Okay, perfect. Look as well to make sure that we kill the egg. And then I think that should be a nice and easy defense. We still need to watch out with this uh, yeah, Phoenix here, though. Okay, let's go with uh, Royal Ghost last second. And then I'm going to have to set up an evil Tesla here. Okay, what is even happening right now? He does go with a Fireball. Fireball misses the Tesla. Oh my god, if he didn't miss the Tesla, I think he probably would have won the match there. But yeah, him missing the Tesla definitely is going to change a lot. And then here we just need to go with Miner. I don't think we need to go with anything else. This Bomber... It's gonna connect once please tell me it didn't oh my god how did it connect twice no way how did that bomber connect twice he even says wow like he doesn't even believe it 
How? Oh my god, Bomber is so broken. I mean, we're also yeah, using the Bomber, so I can't be complaining about the evil Bomber. We definitely could have played that better. As soon as we hit Triple Elixir, I just lost all the control on that match. I feel like we, yeah, controlled the match quite well. But then whenever we hit Triple Elixir, I feel like he was just cycling like crazy, like giant, giant Phoenix. Um, and then the Dagger Dash just couldn't keep up in Triple Elixir. So I guess that's the type of matchup you maybe want to try and play more aggressive in Double Elixir. Because whenever you hit Triple Elixir... It's just, yeah, way too hard to, to even get W there. Not sure if I could have played different. Maybe I should have played way more aggressive with like, I don't know, maybe like the Little Prince. I'm not really sure to be honest. Maybe like try to get more Bombers offensively. I definitely could have played that better, I feel like. Okay, let's try to at least end today's video with another W, guys. We're up against someone who just started... Wait, look at his name, by the way. Goblin Slayer. Okay, let's see. Let's see if this is going to be a Goblin Slayer. Let's go with Tesla here on defense. And then let's see if he's going to support it with like a Balloon. Um, or in this case, he goes with a baby dragon. Okay, let's go Little Prince here to snipe the baby dragon. And then afterwards, we gotta maybe prepare the poison. If the... Um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna poison this. Okay, let's go poison now. Let's then go with a miner towards the right side. His dagger dash is, is not full ammo yet, so the miner should be able to survive. And should be able to tank for a little bit, at least for the Little Prince. Okay, and then I'm gonna go Bomber here at the bridge to try and get some good chip damage against those guards. While also splashing the tower. In this case, we force out arrows, so that's a negative elixir trade for him. Well, we still get such a um, yeah, high amount of damage there, so perfect. Okay, so interesting deck. I think it's just gonna be like a Lava Miner deck. I don't think he has Balloon. He probably would have played the Balloon. Um, get there if he had it. And then here I'm gonna go Ghost plus an Ice Golem. Ice Golem mainly to tank the Dagger Dash shots. And then afterwards the Ghost is gonna be really annoying for him. Perfect. So Ice Golem is actually insanely good against the Dagger Dash. Just like it fully tanks all the shots. And then whatever you drop with it, like in this case the Ghost. In some situations the Miner. Um, just get so much value, so I definitely think that's why yeah, Muhammad Light put Golem um, in his deck while Ice Golem. Okay, let's go with a Bomber here afterwards to kite the Baby Dragon, maybe kite a potential, yeah, some Lava Puffs, perfect. And then here I'm gonna go with Ghost towards the right side tower. We do know that he has guards, so he's probably just gonna go guards. Um, okay, yeah, there you go. So we force out the guards, that's awesome. We can go with Ice Golem here towards the left side to tank a little bit, and then maybe even go with Ability as well. Okay, I'm gonna go with ability, even though it's last second, I think ability is still gonna be annoying, especially because the dagger dash is out of ammo, and in the meantime, I'm also gonna go minor. Probably should have gone minor left side, actually, thinking about it now, because look at the ability, um, getting so much damage done. I don't know why he's not dropping anything, in this case, he barely just now goes with arrows, well, his left side tower is already down to 1085 HP. Let's keep the pressure here with ghost, let's also go with an ice golem, and then here we need to, yeah, focus on defense first. Okay, let's go with Evil Tesla. Let's go with a Poison on defense already to start taking care of all those units. Then I'm going to go with a Ghost on defense. And I think this should be a pretty good defense. I don't think it's going to get yet. I don't think it's going to get that much damage. Still need to be careful because our Dagger Dash is, is out of ammo. So this Baby Dragon is going to get a little bit of chip damage. But nothing too crazy. Okay, let's go Bomber here to start cycling towards another Evil Bomber. Let's then go with Ghost up high. Uh, he does go with the Evil set. But I think we still should be fine here to be honest. I mean, the Miner is getting a good amount of chip damage. But I think here with the Ghost, with the Miner, with the Evil Bomber, we should be able to get a lot of uh, damage. Please tell me the Evil Bomber connects. Look at the Evil Bomber. Evil Bomber is going to connect. It's going to connect another time. And it's going to be towered down. So very nice video. Besides the third match, I think it was, against the Giant player where we probably yeah, should have won that matchup. I think we played that really, really well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Very good deck. Very fun deck, to be honest. I missed playing Miner, as I said before. I thought Miner was gone. And then Muhammad Light comes up with a new Miner Poison deck, which is definitely... Really fun and really solid. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to smack the like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, feel free to subscribe. And I hope to see you guys in one of my next videos. Take care, guys.